the Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet. DressageClinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips. <clears throat> so, um, I already talked about, this is our whole spine. From the neck is the yellow part, the green is the thoracic part, the lone part is the blue, and then the sacral, sacrum is the part in red. So, to me, the spine also includes your pelvis. Which we will move on to. So the picture on the left <clears throat> is a pelvis looking from the front. The one on the right is from the back. And what I want you to notice is that how this pelvis is attached and where it is attached. It's attached by the two hip joints. So your hip joint movement is going to influence how much your spine can move. And it's also attached... Um, right at uh, the base of the spine. So if that's crunched, you'll see some crunching in a minute. You'll see how that's going to affect it. It's also, I'm going to back up. You'll notice that where the two sort of ear-shaped pieces on the, the pelvis are right next to the red, those are your sacroiliac joints. And to me, those joints, I envision them like Velcro. Velcro is supposed to hold something together, but it also, if you had two things Velcro together, you could move it a little bit. So there, it, allow, it should allow for some flexion. So there are really five joints around your pelvis that need to move correctly in order for things to really get moving. And here is just another shot of all of the soft tissue. All uh, the soft tissue around the hip joint is not shown, but all the soft tissue, and all of that soft tissue can get kind of mucked up. And I'll show you why in a second. And start to lead to all kinds of issues. But let's go on and talk about what happens when that pelvis is not in the right place? If some of that soft tissue starts to pull in a way that moves your pelvis, it moves it out of neutral. If it's out of neutral, then it can't follow the way it's supposed to follow. So I'm going to give you a little lovely demo here. This is me riding in a dress. <laughs> All right, so I like to think of my pelvis as something that if, if I erased my whole body and it dropped on the floor, it would be perpendicular to the floor, the mass of it, okay? Right. If it's in a mass, if I imagine it that it's like a clasp on a string of pearls, I should be able to swing it and it should be able to move forward and back without a problem. Does that all make sense? Okay. So, we talked about the energy, the energy of the horse. The energy of the horse comes from the hind legs, right? You're sitting there, hot horse sends energy forward, it pushes your pelvis forward, and it goes back. And forward, and it goes back. And because you're loose in your hip joints, your legs can stay down, and you follow the motion. What happens if you're in a bit of a posterior tilt, which is a little tuck in the tailbone, flatter back. I actually think this is an okay posture. Not a, I don't want it over react, oh, overdone in a rider, but I think it's an okay posture, pelvic posture for riders. Again, because it sets you up to be able to absorb the motion of the horse. It pushes, it's going to push you forward. Here's the real bad one. And we see so many people in this posture where they have this posture. Dressageclinic.com A world of knowledge at your fingertips. Dressageclinic.com is an educational website that allows you to enter the world of dressage training through videos of top-seated international dressage trainers, writers, and lecturers. Experience the mastery of some of the world's top trainers from the privacy of your own virtual ringside seat as they guide you through all facets of dressage discipline, 
sharing their valuable insights and instructions. The upcoming new video section is updated each month to provide you with information on the latest training videos to be showcased on the site. The Special Features section gives you easy access to the training videos that are currently available online, while the Search Training section allows you to find videos based on a wide variety of categories. Membership to DressageClinic.com provides you with instant access to an international array of recognized trainers from the United States, Canada, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, and many other countries, each sharing their knowledge on a wide variety of educational and informative subjects. The Global Dressage Forum North America, the ultimate educational experience where champions meet.